Uh, good morning. Uh, kami akan membentangkan tentang estimation of population mean with unknown standard deviation. Okay, ini adalah ahli kumpulan uh, yang first Rushida, Wengkat, Haris, Ishan dan saya sendiri. Okay, next. Okay, untuk uh, standard deviation not known, uh, dia ada tiga possible cases. Uh, case pertama ada tiga condition. The population standard deviation is not known. Uh, condition ni sama je untuk tiga-tiga cases. Yang second sample size dia kecil iaitu n lebih, n is less than 30. And condition ketiga population daripada sample yang terpilih is normally distributed. Okay next. Uh, for case kedua, con first condition the population standard deviation is not known. Uh, case condition kedua, uh, sample size dia besar uh, iaitu n greater than or equals to 30. Next. Okay. For case ketiga, ada tiga condition. First, uh, standard deviation is not known. Second, sample size dia small iaitu n less than 30. And for third, population daripada sample yang terpilih is uh, not normally distributed ataupun the distribution is unknown. Okay. Uh, ini adalah secara ringkas. Uh, case first, case dua, case ketiga. Dan uh, case first and case dua boleh guna T distribution untuk estimate mean. Bagi case, case ketiga, uh, use non-parametric method untuk estimate mean. Uh, itu saja daripada saya, saya akan serahkan kepada Haris. Okay, yang seterusnya ialah the T distribution. The T distribution is a specific type of bell shape distribution with a lower height and a wider spread than the standard normal distribution. Uh, the T distribution ni uh, dia ialah distribution yang berbentuk seperti loceng dengan ketinggian yang lebih rendah dan kelebaran yang lebih luas lah daripada standard normal distribution. As the sample size becomes larger, the T distribution approaches the standard normal distribution. <coughs> uh, <coughs> apabila size sample menjadi lebih besar, uh, T distribution ni dia akan menghampiri kepada standard normal distribution ni lah. Maksudnya dia akan jadi bentuk seperti standard normal distribution. Okay, next. Uh, the T distribution uh, has only one parameter called the degrees of freedom. Uh, T distribution ni juga mempunyai satu parameter yang dipanggil degrees of freedom. And the last one is the mean of the T distribution is equal to zero and its standard deviation is that formula. So, uh, mean pada T distribution ni ialah sama dengan kosong dan standard deviation ialah sama dengan punca kuasa DF bahagi dengan DF tolak 2. So next slide. <laughs> okay seperti yang kita dapat lihat pada slide uh, yang yang tinggi tu ialah standard normal, distri normal, normal distribution dan yang bawah dia tu ialah uh, T distribution lah. Uh, kita nampak dia punya ketinggian dia tu rendah dan kelebaran dia tu luas lah. Okay so next. Okay find the value of T for 16 degrees of freedom and 0 0.05 area in the right tail of a T distribution curve. Okay so next uh, kita tengok pada <laughs> next one kat. Okay, kita tengok pada area in the right tail under the T distribution curve tu adalah dia nak uh, 0 0.05 so kat situ dengan dia punya degrees of freedom dia ialah pada 16 sebelah kiri dia tu so jawapan dia kita dapat dekat uh, 1.746 tu je jawapan dia Okay seterusnya saya akan serahkan kepada Syida Okey baiklah ini ialah table untuk kita tengok graf. Bagi uh, sebelah kiri ni ialah df dia. Yang belah atas tu ialah probability dia. Yang banyak-banyak ni ialah nilai t. Next. 
figure 8.6 the value of T for 16 DF and 0 0.05 area in the right tail. Uh, so I lend you bagi find the value of T for 16 degree of freedom and 0 0.05 area in the right tail of the T distribution curve. Dekat sini uh, curve dia uh, DF dia bagi 16. T uh, 1.746 kat sini 0.05. Maksudnya kalau dia nak uh, degree dah diberikan kira dia nak nilai sebelah kanan dia jadi 1.746 tu. Next. Ini ya, graf yang sama cuma dia sebelah kiri. So nilai T jadi negatif 1.746. Next. Confident interval for mean using the t distribution. The 1 uh, minus a alpha darab 100% confident interval for mean is x bar plus minus t uh, standard deviation x bar. Apabila standard deviation x bar sama dengan standard deviation per punca kuasa n. Untuk confident interval dia akan ada dua nilai. Satu tolak, satu tambah. Hasil uh, dia akan dapat margin of error. The value of the uh, the value of t is option from the t distribution table for n tolak satu degree of freedom and the given confidence <coughs> level. Here the s x bar is the margin of error of the estimate that is e t s x bar. Uh, bagi formula degree of freedom ialah d f sama dengan n tolak satu. Next. Okey dekat sini uh, kita terlakar sikit uh, N sama dengan 17 nilai dia 17 untuk kita dapatkan DF uh, N tolak 1 sama dengan 16 Okey next uh, Okey example Dr. Mo want to estimate the main cholesterol level for all adult men living in Hartford the, He took a sample of uh, 25 adult men from Hartford and found the the mean cholesterol level for the sample is 186 ml per dl mg per dl with the standard deviation of 12 mg per dl assume that the cholesterol level of for all adult men is are uh, approximately normally distributed uh, construct a 95% confidence interval for the population mean uh, and dia bagi uh, sama dengan 25 X bar sama dengan uh, 186 mg per dl Standard deviation sama dengan 12 mg per dl Kita kena guna formula yang bawah ni Okay, next, pas ke Yishuan Yeah, for this question We know that the population standard deviation is not known And smaller than 30 And the population is normally distributed so this is the case one. So we have the information n equals to 25, mean equals to 186, and the sample standard deviation equals to 12. And the confidence level equals to 95%. Therefore, we find the standard error first with the formula Sample standard division divided by square root of the sample size. 12 equal, uh, divided by square root of 25 equals to 2.4. Next. Next, we find the degrees of freedom n minus 1 equals to 25 minus 1. We get the uh, 24. Then we find the area in each tail. I'm using bracket 1 minus 0 0.95 divided by 2. We get, we get 0 0.025 area for each tail. After we have DF and the area of each tail, we can find the value of T using the table. So we, we can get the value 2.064 from the table. 
when we have all the information, we can find the confidence interval. The formula is mean plus minus the margin error of estimate equals to 186 plus minus 2.064 multiples 2.4. So we can get the range 181.05 to 190.95. Next. So we can start with 95% confidence that the mean cholesterol level for all adult men living in Harvard lies between 181.05 and 190.95 mgdl. Next, this is the uh, diagram for this question. Next, I will pass to the bank card. Okay, uh, thank you, Han Uh I'll take it from here. <clears throat> Okay, so example 8.6, uh, 64 randomly selected adults who buy books for general reading were asked how much they usually spend on books per year. This sample produced the mean of 1,450, is the mean, and a standard deviation of 300. So this is the standard deviation for the sample. For such annual expenses, Determine a 99% confidence interval for the corresponding population mean. Since we do not have the standard deviation of the population, so this is an unknown standard deviation estimation. So now we have 64 as our sample size. So our sample size is 64. And now we have a mean of 1450. This is our mean. And the standard deviation from our sample, which is 3,300, I mean. And 99% as confidence level. Okay, so what we need to find first is going to be Yes. We're going to need this to get the margin of error, or which is margin of estimate. The formula for this is S over square root of um, sample size. And our S is 300. Our sample size is 64. This would be 37.5. Okay, once you find this, you need to remember this. Now we need to find the degree of, uh, of uh, freedom. Why do we need to find this? I'll tell you guys later on. We need to use this to refer to the T table, which is uh, really important to get the value of T. Uh, the degrees of freedom is just the sample size minus 1, which is 63. And now, with the confidence level, we need to find the value of uh, T. So first, we need to know the area of each tail, which is 1 minus 99. which is 0 0.01 divided by 2, we get 0 0.005. Now, with this, I'll teach you guys how to look at the T-table. Okay, so, can you guys see this? Again. 
just now we found out that um, our area of each tail is 0 0.05, which is this. If two tails combine, it's 0 0.01, which is this. So this is our row that we want. This is the column that we need, okay? Now to look at degrees of freedom. We had 64 as sample size, but degrees of freedom is sample size minus one. So we, our sample size, I mean our degrees of freedom is 63. But in my table, in my T table, there is no 63. There's only 60 and 80, which is the closest to them. What we need to do is find the one nearest to the value of degrees of freedom. For example, if it's 61, you use 60, 62, you use 60, 63, you use 60. So I will say 63, we'll use 60, which is this row. And now we look at this, which is this row. We get the value of T, which is 2.660. Oh. <clears throat> But once we get that, 2.660. Now we can find our confidence interval, our mean, which was um, 1450 plus minus uh, 2.660. multiplied by 37.5, which was our estimated standard deviation. We get 1450 plus minus 99.75 is equals to 1350.25. One five four nine point seven five. This is my answer referring to the my own t table, which I got. Okay, don't worry. Uh, I'm pretty sure in the exam they would give the t table, which everyone will have to refer on, so the answer would be same. But let's look at uh, the answer from the other side. This is our answer one three five zero, and our t table is two point six six zero. Let's see. Okay. This is the one that we did just now, so no worries. Yeah, okay. So the value that T got is 2.656. They have the exact value for the de degree of freedom of 63. We use the closest one in our T table, but it's similar. It's almost similar. Ours is 2.66, yes, it's 2.656. So the answer is like almost similar. 1350 to 25 cents and 1549 to 75 cents. So we can say that we're 99% of confidence level based on this sample of the mean. Uh, annual expenditure on books by all adults who buy the book for general reading is between 135040 and 1549. And that's it for us, guys. Thank you.